Hey everyone, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Today I have a thrift with me in Bakersfield, which if you guys haven't seen my last couple of videos, I moved to Bakersfield, California. I am going to take you guys to a thrift store that I've never been to here in downtown Bakersfield and I got a bunch of stuff. Make sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna do like a little thrift haul and show you guys everything that I got and I'm gonna style it up for you guys, so don't miss it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so before we jump into the video, I want to share our sponsor and that is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. Every single time I take a new Skillshare class, I leave feeling so inspired and I go to my husband and I'm like, babe, you have to take this class with me. It's so good. You're gonna love it. You're gonna get so inspired. This time, I just took a class by Andy J Pizza and it is called Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity. Man, this guy is so good, let me tell you. So this guy's an illustrator, but you can actually take his course and apply it to basically any creative thing that you're doing in your life, whether it's music or fashion, even cooking, you name it, you can do it. I love how he said to think of your style, not as like one particular thing, but as more of an emergence and a bunch of little things sort of coming together to be something bigger. As somebody that has gone through the years trying to figure out my own style as far as fashion goes, I definitely agree with his statement because I have often felt like I need to pick one lane and like one style and stick with it. And the reality is, is that I like a lot of different things. And he talks about embracing all of the traits and the things about you that may seem like they can't go together. Um, and, and that in fact, meshing all of those together is what is going to make something really special and unique in your art. So if you've ever kind of wanted to figure out like, what is your creative style? Um, this is the perfect class to take. So right now, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down below in the description box. We'll get 30% off a year's subscription to their Skillshare premium membership. So join me and we can explore our creativity together. And even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. So don't hesitate, click the link now. All right guys, so I am here at the Salvation Army downtown. I've actually never been to this one. I'm gonna be looking for lots of summer clothes. So tank tops, shorts, um, spaghetti straps, I don't know, dresses that are cool to wear. Um, today I had a really hard time getting dressed because I put a skirt on and then I had no idea what top to wear. I just don't own very many tank tops. It's 92 right now outside and it's only getting hotter from here on out. So I really desperately need some summer clothes. I knew that moving from San Francisco to Bakersfield my wardrobe was gonna have to change. I'm experiencing that right now. I could also use some cute skirts as well, but I'm thinking like midi skirts and maybe even some like shorter dresses. Okay guys, I'm gonna go head inside now and I will show you guys what I end up finding. of luck in the dresses but I did want to show you guys what I did find there. I found this little dress could be cute. It's white stag. I found this dress. This is actually just an H&M. The color is cute. I'm just not sure about the fabric. It's like satin which feels kind of weird to me for a dress, I don't know. I'm just not sure about it. And then I found this, it's 
cute, but I'm just not sure about the fabric, like the print. I don't know if I like it. And then lastly, this one, which I think I'm the most excited about of any of them. Okay, so I am avoiding going to the tank tops because I actually hate shopping for shirts and tank tops. So right now I'm in the skirts and I did find a couple of cute things. Let me show you. Okay, so I just found this skirt. It looks very similar to the one that I'm wearing already. <laughs> So I'm like, do I want to get to pretty much the same skirt? I don't know. And I found this one, which is, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it. It's so different for me. I don't know. It's, I don't think it's me, but I found another button up one that's a little bit more my style. So this one's cute. I could definitely see myself wearing this. It's the brand Byron Bay. I wonder if it's linen. I don't know, but it kind of like has that feel. I wonder what that is. I also found this really pretty little skirt, but I think it might be a little bit too small for me postpartum. And my waist gained about an inch after I had my baby. And so it looks like it might be a little bit too small. Okay, so I know I shouldn't be shopping for pants, but I found some kind of fun trousers. Um, these are Urban Outfitters. They kind of have a flare at the bottom. I think that they could be kind of fun maybe. So I kind of want to try them on under my skirt. I also found some gingham pants. I think these might be a bit too big though. Um, and then these look like just some like fun, easy, sort of loungy pants. So I tried on these plaid guys. They are very snug. Oh, yeah. I don't really know how I feel about them, but I think they're a little bit tighter than I want on my body. Okay, so here are the other ones. They're pretty comfy. There's a tissue in the pocket, ew. They're kind of big actually around the waist, and I'm not like 100% sold on them. They're very comfy though. But I actually already have some blue and white striped pants that I wear like all the time, so. I think I might just stick with those. So none of the pants worked out, but I guess that's probably for the best because I need to go look at tank tops now. Okay, so this one kind of has potential maybe if I like wear it with some like white, white high-waisted wide leg pants with it tucked in. What about the watermelons, you guys? Am I like really lowering my standards right now? I don't know. Well, I'm just struggling to find anything I like. Case in point. This tank top is like my worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. Uh... So I found this cart over here, so I put my stuff in it. And when I looked in the bottom, I found this. It's like a little Ralph Florence sport. Oh my gosh, little sweater vest thing. Now, I just don't really wear sweater vests, but how cute is that? It's so cute. Okay, so this is not bad. Salad green. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. A little top. It looks comfy too. like bored out of my mind going through all of these right now but I had a thought so I have this tank top that I basically cropped and it looks really cute it's um, Eli's Mile High Club I wore it in my last what I wore video and I was thinking maybe I should check the guys section or the little boys section for t-shirts that I can just crop and like wear as tank tops because I do really like that one that I have and I'd love to find more that are similar. No luck in the little boys t-shirts. Okay so I did just find a cute little like baby doll dress and I know you can't see but it does have pockets and it's by this brand Dressing Cleo. So I think I might get this actually. I think that might be a nice breezy comfy dress to wear in summertime. Oh my gosh, I finally found a cute tank 
Look at that. It's just a plain white cropped kind of muscle tank putting it in the cart. I also found how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love blouses that have this. And I love the fact that it's button up because it's breastfeeding friendly, which I need. Oh my gosh, how amazing. Oh, that is super cool. I just don't know if I would wear it. It's also, it looks a little bit wide. So I'm gonna save it for someone else. So I just found this blouse and I thought maybe it would be cute cropped or even turned into a little tank top. So I don't know. I'm getting, trying to get creative here, okay guys? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just found a gem of a dress. It was in the shirt section. Let me show you. Look at this gem. This is a 70s dress. Um, no stains. It's amazing. Put it in the cart. I am so glad I found that dress because I was literally starting to slip into a little bit of a depression of like, oh my gosh, I'm not in San Francisco anymore. Like I'm not gonna find all these vintage gems like I used to because everything that I've been finding is just like newer clothes like within the last, you know, five to 10 years. So I'm so glad I found that dress. As I was recording that, you guys, I saw this out of the corner of my eye vintage Diane von Furstenberg shirt. Yay! This is a cute little vintage blouse. It has a big stain down here, but I feel like I might be able to just tuck that in. Poly though, so it's not going to be nice to wear in the summertime. It's not appropriate for the weather right now, that's for sure. Okay, look at this cool vintage Monterey, California pullover. But why? Why does it have to be a sweatshirt? It's summertime. Why? Look at these little shorts I just found. 100% suede leather. How amazing. How amazing. Wow. So I found this shirt and this shirt, which I think is kind of cooler. For Jason, maybe. I texted him a picture and asked yes or no so we'll wait to see what he says i just found this cool vintage hat it looks like it's never been worn either how cute is that little picture of the team i just found this one too i kind of think jason might like it so i asked jason if he wanted this hat he said yes very cool and he wants the light the light blue shirt here so my cart's full of clothes. I'm gonna go look in the home goods section and see if I can find any home decor stuff. And then I'm gonna go through my clothes and then I'm gonna head out. And I'll show you guys my final haul at the end. head just like doesn't look like it's the right shape for it or something I don't know that's it's so cute though it's adorable also passing on this okay so going through everything here's this yellow dress 
the fabric. I just don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on it. It's very different for me, but I think I'm gonna get it and just try to style it up. Um, but it's definitely like a winter piece for sure. Okay, remember that dress that I thought I was gonna get? That's amazing. Well, okay, this feels way too short. Oh, here's that Diane von Furstenberg shirt. I just tied it because it's kind of long. It's kind of cute. Okay, I don't have to even finish buttoning this because I know I like it. It'll be really cute. Um, styled up, tied, tucked in, whatever. Here's these leather shorts. They fit miraculously. I just don't know if I would wear them. I know you guys are probably gonna hate me because you would probably think they're so cool. I just, I think it's the length, I don't know. They just look kind of unflattering to me. Maybe it's the color. I don't know, bummer. All right, guys, my card is full and I'm checking out. Okay guys, so you watched me go thrifting and now I have the bag of stuff that I got and I'm just gonna like cruise through this stuff because you already saw me shop at the store and I don't need to go on and on about each article of clothing and everything. So I'm just gonna cruise through this really fast and show you some clips of how I'm styling these things up. All right, so let's get started. So I got this hat. Originally, I got it for Jason, but once I got it home and put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, it fits perfect. And it's actually super cute. So I think I'm probably gonna keep it for myself. Um, it is a brand called Smiley World. You might be able to find this online, actually. Okay, another accessory that I picked up was this cool belt. Guys, I am not much of a belt person. I want to be a belt person, but I just don't wear a belt a ton. But I've been really getting kind of expired, expired, <laughs> inspired to uh, start experimenting more. So I thought this was such a cute belt um, with this just really gaudy gold uh, belt buckle. So yeah, I'm gonna style this up at some point and wear that. Okay, I think this was the only tank top that I got this like lime green or salad green tank top. Now I need to take it in probably uh, an inch in the chest area because I'm not very busty. Um, and I think once I do that, it'll be a great tank staple for the summertime. I really like the fun green color. I think it's really cute. And I don't think I styled this one up for you guys, sorry, but you will see it come around, I promise. Okay, next, another one that I didn't style up for you guys, sorry. It's just been so hot here, but this little um, polyester long sleeve, it's a funky little print of a blouse, it's cute. So I'll wear that more when it gets a little bit hot, or hotter, colder outside. <laughs> Okay, this is one of my favorite finds that I got, this little Orvis shirt. I'd never heard of the brand Orvis, but it looks like it's a newer brand, and um, this is Rayon, which I actually really like Rayon. So yeah, this is a great little blouse, and I love that it's buttoned up so I can nurse in it, and I also just love the lace detailing around the collar. I think it's so cute. I'm sure that I'll wear it a lot. Okay, oh wait, I did find another tank top, this white tank top, which is a Zara, and um, it's pretty cute. I don't have a whole lot to say about it. I like the cut of it though. I do like this kind of like muscly tank tops. This one I'll probably wear a ton. Okay, so I also got this Diane von Furstenberg plaid. I think it's just a really pretty plaid. And um, I feel like I'll style it as like a second layer probably more than anything. Um, I might style it like tied around the waist. So that'll be nice to have in my wardrobe. All right, so I got this sage colored skirt, which when I saw it in the thrift store, I was kind of on the fence about it because, I mean, it's cute, but it kind of also just looks like, I don't know, some like typical, like, I don't know, new brand boutique skirt. 
but I did like the color. And then when I got it home, I ended up I ended up liking it more once I tried it on with everything. Um, so yeah, so that'll be a nice little skirt to kind of style up for the summertime. All right, next, this dress here. Okay, so this plaid dress was one of my favorite things that I found. Like, to be totally honest with you, I'm not like 100% sold on the print of this dress, and I'm not 100% sold on these little flower applique thingy ma bobs. Um, although I do think they look cute on the pockets, but I was thinking about taking the little flowers off, which is totally something that past Erica would have done. I would have taken this off and like made it plain because oftentimes I don't like those little applique things. Um, but I felt like if I take it off, then the dress is just gonna be kind of plain and boring. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think that I should leave them on or take them off, I'm kind of on the fence about it. The main thing I like about this is the silhouette of it more than anything. And it's also very comfortable and just easy to wear, easy, you know, throw on dress. One thing I didn't style up for you guys, I'm so sorry, but I just, this is gonna take me a while to figure out how to style this just because, you know, I, there's just some things in life that I just don't know how to style and I just never wear. Vests are one of those things. I just never wear vests and so I feel like this might be a little bit challenging for me. So I might have to pull up some inspiration on Pinterest and kind of see how people are styling their wool vests. I just kind of wish that it wasn't zip up. I wish it was just um, just a just a pullover vest. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll style it with like a midi skirt or something like that, or I don't know, a shirt with a bolo tie. I don't know, guys. Give me some ideas in the comments below. Like, how should I style this? I need your help. <laughs> okay, but I love. I think the design and the pattern is so pretty and so cute. And it's like a nice brand, Ralph Lauren. That's pretty good. So I just couldn't pass it up. And every once in a while, it's kind of fun to challenge yourself, you know? I'm saving my favorite dress for last. Okay, but this one, this dress, I'm like, I don't know if I love you or I hate you. It's just very mumsy. I love it at the same time. I'm not crazy about the print, that's the thing. It's like very 90s mom, but it's breastfeeding friendly. That's a bonus, and it has pockets, and it's like very comfortable and great for hot weather. So all of those things are things that I need in my life. So, you know, I just had to get it. Okay, let me just share with you something I don't need in my life, but I had to get anyways was Oh, this amazing 70s mini dress. Isn't it adorable? You guys, when Jason saw this, he said that I looked like a baseball. <laughs> okay. I was like, well, I didn't see that until you pointed it out. And I guess I can see how it looks like a baseball player's uniform. Um, yeah, but I think it's really cute. But the reason I said I don't need it in my life is because it is so short, you guys. And being 35 years old and wearing like a mini, mini, mini skirt or dress, I basically feel naked because I don't remember the last time I wore something this short. But it's really fun to wear around the house <laughs> or wear for this video. Um, so anyways, I might end up eventually selling this in one of my closet sales. It is so cute though, I'm not denying that. It is like such a cute, sexy little dress and it's in immaculate condition, you know? I'm surprised that something like this doesn't have any stains on it because normally white vintage clothing has stains on it and this one doesn't and I just love that little dagger collar, it's so cute. And I love the long sleeves as well with it. You like it? Yeah. <sighs> that is everything that I got today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at tiny underscore acorn. 
I'd love to see you guys over there. I post other like outfit of the days and stuff that you guys never see on my YouTube. So um, if you need more outfit inspo, go check me out over there. Also, if you haven't watched last week's video, I did my five current favorites. I shared some of my favorite upcycling brands on Instagram right now. There are people making the coolest things out of old vintage quilts, fabrics, tea towels, just the coolest upcyclers, and I shared all of those guys on last week's favorites video. I also gave you a little bit of a life update on how we have been since the move. So if you haven't watched that yet, go check it out. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day belated to all of my moms out there. You guys are awesome. And I think about you guys and I know that it's hard to be a mom and I just wanna celebrate you because you're awesome. And even if you're not technically a mom, you have a heart of a mom you're a mom to someone okay so happy mother's day to you too because there are people out there that might not have kids but they've been a mom to somebody and their mothering heart has nurtured somebody and so i celebrate you as well okay guys hope you have a wonderful day today make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and remember that you are beautiful just the way you are and you are loved just the way you are